Theon Rose. And I'm Jonathan Martinez. 24-year-old Hannah Savoy worked as a paraprofessional at Levi Middle School. And authorities say the relationship involved a former student. Channel 2's Sally Mamdu is live just outside that school with the very latest on this case. Sally? And Jonathan, we still don't know whether the former employee and the student started their relationship here at the middle school. But court documents say that the relationship was reported to police by the principal who was notified by another student in April of this year, and the student used to attend this middle school. Now, the details of this case are disturbing. According to court documents, the former employee, 24-year-old Hannah Parisa Savoy, and the 15-year-old student started this sexual relationship last year. Savoy was seen visiting the student's home and laying together with the student in a bed, as well as posting pictures on Snapchat. When confronted by police, court documents show that Savoy confessed to having a sexual relationship with the student whom she said, quote, she loved with all of her heart. Savoy admitted to sleeping with the 15-year-old student multiple times at places that included the student's home, at a park, and at a hotel. Police also recovered several explicit images on Savoy's phone of her and the student. Also, a video was found of what court documents describe as a video of the two having sexual intercourse. Savoy is facing improper relationship with a student charge as well as a sexual assault on a child. In the meantime, the Cyprus Fairbanks Independent School District released to us a statement saying, quote, authorities notified us last spring of an alleged inappropriate relationship between a Labai Middle School paraprofessional staff member and a former student. Due to, to the seriousness of the allegation, the staff member was immediately removed from campus. Law enforcement conducted a full investigation that led to an off-campus arrest. We are out here in Northwest Houston. Selling them to KPRC Channel 2 News. Sally, thank you so much for that report.